Selsi, spoken easy language for social inclusion. So, so uh, we tested uh, talking books or, or, or listening to books in Sweden. Uh, and and uh, our initial plan on how to test that didn't really will be watched. Uh, so we have a pilot test in place that we that meant that we had to, to rearrange a lot of the ideas of to test them. And what we learned there was that uh, people need to be able to listen several times if if they are if they are to evaluate the quality of of someone reading something. You, you need to be able to listen quite a lot of time to be able to say what is really working, why isn't this working for me. So, so we did we rearranged the test setting for the for the final test. Uh, do you want me to to reveal the results or should we talk that with the panel? I think as I think Sweden can reveal it with the with the panel. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hello everyone, it's really nice to have you here in MoMA as the first time for us from Latvia to come here. And you have an absolutely beautiful city. We like it very much. And now a bit more about our testing in Latvia we had. We are going to test radio news. Radio news, but of course not those radio news which are in radio but the radio news which are prepared ourselves. Because otherwise it's gonna be very difficult to include all those recommendations which are in our guidelines. So we prepared a very short radio news about 20, 30 seconds, very short one, and prepare a special testing page. Testing page or evaluation page where each part, uh, person who take part in a test can make some marks, like is it good or it's not so good. We make a evaluation of way how you are speaking, slow or fast, evaluation of vocabulary, evaluation of the way how text, text is organized. We have two groups, each group has five persons involved, it was people with intellectual disabilities and elderly people with dyslexia, with uh, dementia. Both groups were very interesting. Both groups were very much involved. Both groups give a lot of comments on different activities. Uh, news we listen together. And uh, we have a I would say quite interesting results, which we put in our uh, test uh, report. So, but maybe more after that. And thank you. Okay. In Slovenia, we were um, the odd ones out because we were testing the two-way communication. I failed to mention earlier, but in our guidelines, in our recommendations, we are um, speaking about um, one-way communication. So we are just uh, giving the information out and two-way communication. So this direct communication where we are receiving the direct feedback. And in Slovenia, we tried testing uh, the two-way communication and we had a lot of fun. Uh, so mm -hmm. our... Um, uh, colleagues with uh, those were mainly colleagues with intellectual disability and or autism uh, were very engaged. Uh, we had great discussions. Those were eight people divided into two groups and uh, we followed this testing plan and we also needed in this case we needed a teacher. We called them a teacher in our plan but this was a person who was the coordinator, the one that initiated the communication in the group on a certain topic. And uh, it was uh, very nice. We tried to, because one of the things that we tested was 
providing this secure environment uh, where people can be comfortable, where they can relax, when they are where they trust their coordinator. And what happened is um, some unpredictable things. Like we put this big poster on the door, please do not disturb, we are testing, uh, do not enter. It was like letters like this. But of course, like three people came in uh, during that asking for the key to the toilets. But that's what happens. That's that's a real life situation um, that happens in the environments we are working together anyway. Um, so this is what uh, then we teach, uh, then this is was a little bit that we were able to test additionally that happened there. And um, we confirmed, but more about this later, um, the, um, the colleagues, the participants confirmed all the guidelines that we tested. That is the bottom line. Uh, and more about the experience later. Okay. Yeah, so so what we did in, in Sweden was that we, we started with a, a pilot testing because we had an initial idea on how to do this uh, and it didn't work. It was a total flop. So, so, so then we sort of uh, come up with another other idea that we, that actually really worked. I, I will talk with with the people in the pilot testing group in in just a minute, and, and then I have my friends from from the, the testing groups. We had two testing groups. One was uh, meeting on in online meetings, and the other one on site. Uh, so we ended up with seven seven narrations, and 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 uh, those seven narrations. I think you will get this presentation, then, and you can you can listen to them for yourself if you want to. But each narration tested a specific quality in in the reading. So so number I think number four narration is the one that is following the guidelines that that we, we presented previously. That's that's the narrator that is professional and reading uh, according to instructions, and and then all the other is where we ask the narrator to twist something in the presentation just to test a, a specific quality. Could be longer pauses, could be more, more emotional in the reading, could be more uh, monotone in the reading, could be have very, very long pauses and, and so on. So we ended up with seven different narrations and, and, and people could be, they could listen to them as many times as they wanted before uh, discussing them, so so we we have published those on on the website, and, and and we also created sort of a supporting checklist. Uh, so so you can see the the guidelines that we are testing are are the six ones in in, in this table, and 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 people could just say, do I, is 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 this acceptable for me or 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 not or do, do I know not have any opinion at all? So it was a supporting material, and then we ranked everybody ranked what they found uh, was the best and the worst, uh, and then we discussed this, and we had a lot of discussions about why why do you think this is better than that one, and what is the quality that that is important for you uh, when listening. So so we had a lot of discussions. So we met three times. Uh, uh, listening to, to to the recordings and then ending up the sec the last time with the discussion and what, what was our final thoughts about this and and some people they sort of found the best the best narration directly but others changed their mind during the, the discussions and and we are not uh, there is no consensus in in our groups on what, what is the best. Uh, that that's uh, sort of an overall conclusion. Of this it, it, it's very personal. What you find is also actually a good narration. It's also perhaps if you are coming from the talking book direction into this, or or if you come from the audio book direction, then you prefer because you are used to listen to to, to books in in different ways. So that also makes makes uh, a difference in how you how you sort of evaluate and thinks what it what is a good narration um yeah should we have the panel then yeah so <clears throat> 
So thank, thank you, Tatiana and Gunta. Does anyone have any questions to Tatiana and Gunta about the, the two-way communication that Tatiana arranged best in that and the Gunta on the radio testing, the radio voice testing? Okay, so perhaps you can speak about methodology of it. If we have it. Um, as uh, Stefan um, described how their process went, in the two-way communication, it was quite the same, but we met face-to-face, -face, and we, it was also both groups, they worked in a way that they tested in reverse order. With one group, let's call them group A, we always implemented the guideline first, and then we went and we did um, did the session without the guideline. And then we had the discussions, and then we compared. And in our case, we were very uh, united in our opinions. We used uh, that exact um, checklist that was shown on the slides, uh, but in Slovene language, um, and also these sessions, that we had like test session was approximately each one was approximately one minute long so it was not a long session because uh, we figured and we uh, thought uh, i think correctly that if these sessions were longer then more guidelines would pop out but we really wanted to concentrate on one specific thing so this is how we did it then uh, face to face and we observed the feedback also later on the video and in the two-way communication, we observed the facial feedback of the um, people who were in the group. So this was one of the um, one of the uh, advantages that this two-way communication had because if there was a distress in the group, everyone was like oh or oh, and it was visible in the and if everyone was super bored or unengaged, everyone was just like and this was super visible also in the video. So this was one of the things that was a little bit different in this face-to-face uh, two-way -face communication testing. Yes, and I, maybe I will speak about our methodology more. We also have in-person meeting. We have meeting in person when people come together in small group. We go to those people with dementia to their daycare center because we have a feeling that uh, they feel much more comfortable there. And the situation for the uh, for them are much much more comfortable. They had a preparation group before to explain exactly what we are waiting from them, and after that we have a one and a half hour uh, meeting where we read or we have recording where we have the recording of one radio news. Sometimes in two different ways. For example, one very slow speaking, one normally speaking, and one very fast. And then we're asking, what do you think about it? Is it okay with you or it's not okay with you? And uh, one of our biggest problem in our first evaluation form, we put, I don't have opinion. And after that, we get so many, we don't have opinion, that we understood that we need to change our evaluation form. And we have changed it to yes or no, it's good or bad, because otherwise it's very, very difficult to manage. And um, one more thing, maybe, I don't know how much do we have time to, to give you an answer about supporting some recommendations. We have a different opinions about some of them. For example, when we talk with people with intellectual disabilities and we have some international words, they said, oh, it's very difficult for us. We can't understand those words because we don't know them. But uh, older people who using language before and now they do have a dementia said, no, 
that's okay for us. I can understand exactly what it's saying. So there are quite a lot of differences I put also in our report where those groups are not agree with each other. One said it's okay for us to have a small sound between news because it's easier for us to understand that one news is finished and the next starting now. Those people with dementia said, no, 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 it's just a noise. We don't need it. It's much more easier just to have a pause between them. That is a really, really interesting experience for us to understand that quite often these recommendations are good, but still, it's much better if you have a possibility in order to make it like a tailor made, especially for special groups. At least sometimes when you know exactly to whom you are preparing information. Of course, it's not about radio. Thank you. Perhaps adding to this, I would just say what we tested in two way communication. And uh, I will be very brief. Uh, you heard about uh, narration, different narration styles, but what we tested was use of humor. This was something that was very interesting to us, and we had a lengthy discussion on this. Then we uh, tested check understanding, which is uh, one of the obvious things. Uh, what kind of questions to ask? We tested asking simple questions and more complex questions. Um, we uh, tested whether it's good to accompany the talk with gestures, how does this affect the people who are in the communication, and of course then we also taste, uh, tasted, also tasted and tested safe and pleasant, pleasant environment. So those were the five that were tested in the dual communication. CELSI, spoken easy language for social inclusion. Partners are Zavo Trisa, RTV Slovenia, Dyslexi Verbundet, Universita degli Studi di Pavia, Vieglas Valodas Agentura, Vilnius Universitetas, Vsi Informatio Scaupimo Irsklaidos Centras. Funded by the European Union.